So here it is. And what you need to do is you need to create an account. Uh, you can define a call sign, which will be displayed as the or uses the pilot name. You can define the uh, starting airport and then the ICAO code. If you don't know the ICAO code of your airport, then uh, search on the internet or it will search for the airport name and then ICAO code and you will find it. And you can define the aircrafts. Um, by default, there are three aircrafts in the list because you're doing career mode. You need, of course, to start with, I would say, the most cheapest aircraft, which is either the Cessna 152, the Skyhawk G1000, or the XCOP. Well, I'm selecting the Skyhawk G1000. And then you have the option to select the difficulty level. It's either custom, then you can define yourself how difficult it is. It's pro, then um, the reset options are disabled. Or you can go into survivable mode, which is, I would say, the kind of expert mode, because if you crash, you are dead, and you need to start from scratch. After you did that, hit the add button, and then your pilot will be added to the below section. So currently, I only have one pilot, and so I'm selecting this one, and then you can click on the start button. Once you hit start, it will take some time before it starts the real application. So be aware of that. It will not start it directly. Um, let me see if it works, uh, if it also captures the screen, uh, no, it doesn't capture it. So I need to do it like this. So this is the main screen of Neo and you will find multiple things. First of all, you see that the, uh, let's say airport, which you're provided as part of your profile is selected. You will have a start budget of 10,000 K. Uh, US dollar and this is also the interesting part because in the screen below are all the missions uh, by default uh, some of the options like these two are not selected if you only want to see missions which are applicable to your ranking and which is shown here and are I would say applicable to the fly the airport or airport aircraft you have make sure that you select this button in this case it will I would say filter out all the missions which you can't do yet as you can see, there's a mission flight plan, which tells you, okay, in this case, uh, advertising zone 32, uh, here's the uh, ranking. If it's green, then it's available for your rank, else not. Then it will tell you, hey, what do you need to do? Well, in this case, you need to pick up the banner and patrol between two weight points. Uh, ranking is uh, cadet. There's no cargo, there's no packs. Uh, distance is uh, seven miles. Uh, this is the amount of money you can earn and uh, uh, this is the uh, if I'm correct this is the expiration date uh, as you can see some of them have expiration dates so be aware of that some of the missions simply require you to do it in a certain time range else they will disappear uh, on the top of the or not on the top above the uh, mission list there's the list of options you can select for example i want to only sh see the uh, small trips or i want to see the long holes or i want to see the medium holes or i want to simply see everything right so based on your uh say what you prefer you can select the option in addition to that you can switch off certain functionalities or certain types of missions for example you can switch off the passengers one or the emergency one or the search can rush you one uh, really depends what you want uh, by default everything is selected uh, weight and packs and the uh, distance uh, you can select them uh, and then specify a value manually in the text field uh, but i de didn't select anything there and you have the option to say okay ils uh, heart and lights uh, so you can add certain functionalities and that will filter out the missions. As you can see, uh, some of the missions uh, don't you require you to use ILS. Other ones require you to have ILS. And you can go to the whole list. And as you can see, it's a pretty long list uh, of missions. So that's really cool. Uh, so if you don't know where to fly to, uh, then I would say Neofly is, gives you a lot of uh, impressions about uh, your flight then the second piece is the aircraft market and the aircraft market you can see that all the uh, costs are after 
each line of the aircraft and that's where the budget comes in right if you want to buy a new aircraft you need to have budget but if you want to fly it you also need to have a certain level uh, and with the level i mean okay here we're starting as a cadet as you can see and here you need to have the uh, the b level or even the e level in case of a boeing so you can't buy those aircraft yet uh, because you simply don't have the uh, say correct skills yet. And you can see all the aircrafts here, so that's that's cool. Um, if you want to uh, transfer the pilot to a different uh, location, you can do that by uh, specifying the ICAO code and uh, simply say uh, play or three, fly two. And uh, the other option is pay, and then I think it will cost you some money to transfer the pilot. So. It's up to you which option you select. So these are all the main screen functionalities. So for example, if we want to fly this mission, so we're gonna select it, then you need to right click on it and say fly. You can also select fly with friends and there comes in the uh, multiplayer functionality. So you can always use that. Besides that, you can select different planes and a crew to fly with. If you need to have crew in your aircraft, it will cost you money, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you don't have an aircraft yet, you can also rent one. Of course, it also uh, requires you some to pay some money. Uh, stack mission, I uh, think you can stack multiple missions after each other if you want that. By default, the mission view is selected, but you also have the option to uh, search the market. Right, so if I want to search the market, I can uh, press search and it will show me uh, some stuff. It will show me the goods which I can, for example, uh, let's say take on board and fly to a certain location. Uh, so here's the aircraft cargo and here's the warehouse. So besides doing missions from flying from A to B, you can also earn money with, uh, let's say, with transporting uh, cargo. Uh, flying, uh, connect and fly. Uh, as you can see, currently it's not connected to flight simulator yet. So what you need, what you can do for stack missions, in this case is say, hey, connect and fly, that will connect uh, to flight simulator. Um, let's do that. Oh, you need to first select a mission, right? So was afraid of that so what we probably can do is uh, let's select one although I don't want to do one <laughs> currently uh, so what you need to do is say stack mission you can only stack cargo packs and mill missions okay uh, then we need to stack cargo missions was it right so then we need to deselect all these options Fortunately, there's no option which says, okay, unselect all and then leave only the uh, other ones selected. So cargo is now selected. Uh, can be recognized by this. Then you can say uh, stack mission. Uh, once that's done, you can see it here. Why do you want to stack missions? Uh, well, maybe uh, in this case, we want to fly from Rotterdam to, uh, what is it? Uh, e Echo Hotel, uh, Shara. Echo and then from there take something back or fly further, right? Um, in most, I would say it doesn't make sense normally in real life to fly to an airport and then don't take anything back, right? So keep that in mind. Um, here it's specific uh, cargo. Uh, so we will look at uh, those cargo missions in another video. Uh, once we've done that, uh, we, you can select uh, connect and fly and then it will connect to flight simulator because you can see the stack mission has now been uh, listed below is it required to use this option uh, sorry to go back uh, now you can also uh, simply uh, right click on the mission and then say fly uh, from this menu then the staffing one and the staffing one shows a few things first of all it shows your career uh, so what's the uh, XP, the experience you have, what's the uh, ranking, uh, what's the qualification you have. Uh, based on that, uh, based on, I would say, the numbers of flying, you can earn uh, achievements, which is cool. Kind of similar with, uh, with the things which Flight Simulator has in. Uh, and besides that, you've got the crew. 
and the crew is really needed if you come into some more complex missions then you can hire a crew um based on what i found to be honest uh and then you can uh, I would say take them with you, right? In the larger aircraft, you probably need some crew. Uh, so, for example, you can say uh, right click and then say hire pilots, uh, or all pilots. So, you can hire pilots and let them fly for you. Maybe that's the idea behind it. I'm not sure. I didn't look at this section, to be honest. Uh, so, you can hire them uh, if you want. Uh, then, in the hangar, well, makes sense, right? there are the aircrafts which are uh, listed for you and here are the hired pilot missions so if you hire pilot you can also assign a mission to him or her it looks like fbo not sure what fbo stands for you've got the missions uh, the management uh, and the dispatcher uh, and you, you can select multiple missions right the dispatcher uh, in this case okay fire yeah, you can fire dispatchers, but yeah, let's not do it for now. <laughs> so all nice things. Uh, prices can be, be calculated and create a line for prices. So I would say those are the complex things. Uh, probably you want to first start with flying uh, first. Then of course the there is the log file which keeps track of your flights. And the finance thing, uh, how much money did you earn? And what are the loans, right? Because if you do loans, you also need to pay them back, uh, just like in real life. The multiplayer again is to use the multiplayer mode. Uh, and then you can connect to a server and then simply fly together with your friends, uh, if you want, of course. Uh, I'm not using that functionality uh, a lot, to be honest. And as last one, we've got the... Uh, let's say gear as you can see and the gear uh, will simply uh, bring you to those settings uh, and in those settings are the binky uh, because what you see here by default is that you need to specify credentials uh, which you can get for uh, by uh, creating a, a developer account uh, for Bing and then use it um, in addition to that you can Add some functionalities uh, like uh, enabling the Neopad, uh, setting the language, uh, which is, they've got a few languages, Chinese, English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. You can dar activate dark mode, in-game text. Uh, you can set the um, other options in pro mode. For example, you can see, okay, hey, what is pro mode uh, compared to survivable mode? And you've got the, uh, the add-ons. Like create okay, a 3D scenery, scenery which you can add, uh, install events for example, and the FBO, uh, the fixed based operator, uh, runs based airports if you're choosing. Uh, so this looks like a special option which you can do, but you need to register again for it. So that's where also the FBO stands here for, right? Fixed based operator. Keep that in mind. Um, so let's uh, switch to uh, flight simulator itself and uh, have a look at the. Uh, fly pad so here we are and as you can see it's already listed here uh, so if you go to the top of the menu you will see neopad there you will find the uh, fly pad you can make it as big as you want again you need to uh, create an account uh, if you really want to use it um, you can use this these symbols to change the way the uh, chart looks Sometimes it's a little bit weird, but then simply click again, we'll fix it. Uh, zoom in and zoom out. Uh, then you've got the uh, aircrafts, which you can show. Uh, but in this case, these two are not working as we are not flying yet. Uh, these is are showing the, the other active aircraft. So you, you see, we're not seeing a lot of activity uh, currently. So make sure you register uh, for the account. So there's one. Other um, thing which you can do is you can connect, for example, an iPad uh, or other machine uh, and use uh, that machine to use a Neopad. Uh, so let me uh, show that uh, quickly to you. So what you need to do uh, for that is you need to open a command prompt and then run uh, ipconfig. Uh, based on that, you will find the IP 
v4 address which in my case is this one um, if you have uh, that pushed in what you need to do is you need to uh, open a browser so 